Hey guys, today we're going to be printing and putting together a cool little gadget for you to use at home. Um, it's basically a, a mini portable Bluetooth speaker. As you probably know or might have seen already, we have a Bluetooth speaker project on our website. Um, but it actually has quite a large uh, printing envelope. So for you, those of you that have smaller printing beds um, and haven't been able to print that, this is a much smaller unit, um, very easy to print and also very easy to put together as you'll see in a minute. Um, basically it enables you to stream your music wirelessly from a Bluetooth device such as your smartphone. Um, also comes with a nice little remote which is included in your kit. Um, also has uh, inputs for USB and memory cards so you can listen to any audio files on those. Um, devices and also has an inbuilt FM tuner as well to listen to the radio if you wanted to. Um, has a really good battery life as well. It's powered by a, by a lithium-ion 18650 battery to give you plenty of playback time. So now I'm going to show you how to put it all together. Okay, just to give you a quick rundown on the parts of this project, both the 3D printed parts and the electronic parts which are in the kit which you'll get uh, in the mail. Firstly, the um, main printed part is this piece here. It is really easy to print. You don't print it with any support material whatsoever. It's printed with the control panel side down on your platform, like so. Um, make sure you print it with some decent brim. Uh, if you're using a heated print bed, just to make sure that you don't get any lifting. And secondly, this is just our little rear cover. Again, very easy to print, no support material. And that just slides on the back here. And you push it to clip it in. Just take it out, lift and pull back. As you have a little clip here. The electronics kit which you'll receive is really easy to um, put the components together. You'll receive a bunch of these little cables here. And what the first thing you need to do is attach those cables to three of the components that you're going to receive. You need to attach them to both of the speakers, making sure that you've got red going to positive terminal and black going to the negative terminal. I've already soldered these together. If you don't have a soldering iron or not confident to solder, you can simply just strip the wire and twist them onto the terminals. Obviously soldering is a much more reliable um, means of connecting them, but you can also just twist them on. So two speakers and then lastly we've got our battery and our battery holder. It's a lithium-ion 18650 battery. Um, once again, just take your little cable and join them to the corresponding positive and negative on the battery holder. Lastly, we have our control unit here. We're not actually going to require this black panel here as we've already got one inbuilt on our 3D printed part. So you just want to remove this by undoing these two screws. And that'll then, you'll be able to remove this. And there's also these buttons here which we'll use. That'll simply pop out. So we discard that and we're ready to go. So firstly we're going to put in our speakers. Now these speakers simply clip in to the top and bottom locations. You may have to tune just with a, a sharp utility knife these two little clips on each side just to make sure that the speaker does fit nicely in there. You don't want to use too much force otherwise you will break it. So just adjust the clips until you can just gently click it in fully like so. And likewise we're going to clip our bottom one in. Before you put the bottom one in, it's probably easier to feed this wire up through the hole here. Like so. And then you can clip in that speaker as well. Okay, so once you've got your two speakers in, can put in our main PCB unit, just remembering to put in the little button controls and just sit those in the holes there and they poke through the front. 
and you can just carefully take your PCB unit, getting the wires out of the way, and just slide that in as it was on the black panel you removed. You'll need to probably push the LCD component, the little um, display, possibly down a little bit just to get it into its little recess there. So just making sure that it's pushed on both, pushed in on both both sides, and checking that everything is coming through on the front. You can then take your two screws and put them into the corresponding holes here and here and that just secures the PCB in place. Next we need to attach all our components to the PCB. So we've got our two speakers here and also our battery which we've prepared. The two white plugs here on the PCB are for the speakers and the red one at the end is for our battery. So once you've got your three plugs all in, last week you can put our battery in place it just sits in little features on each side here. Make sure you get your wires out of the way as best as possible. It is quite a tight fit, so you might have to angle the battery in, similar to what I'm doing here, and then twisting it over like so before you push it, push it into the features on each side. Like so. And then we just slide our little cover over top, clips in place, and that's the completed mini Bluetooth speaker. So just to give you a quick rundown on how to use the device, it's really easy. So we turn the power on, and you can take our smartphone or whatever Bluetooth device you're using, and then on your Bluetooth settings. It'll search for a device and click on the device ZTV. And then it'll connect with the audio tone. So now you're connected, ready to stream your music. Um, to charge the device, um, you simply do that with a, with a USB to mini USB cable that's provided into this mini USB port here. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed putting together projects and that you'll get lots of use out of your Bluetooth speaker. Be sure to check back to project3dprint.com for new and exciting projects.